Hi, I'm Allie, the hands behind the turtle trunk, and in today's video, I'm going to show you how to crochet this amigurumi grapefruit. If you're following along with the Pregnancy Progress Project, this is week 23 when baby is about the same size as a one pound grapefruit. I hope you enjoy this tutorial. Now let's get started. For today's tutorial, you will need medium weight yarn in the colors orange or pink, yellow and white, a four millimeter or G hook, polyfill stuffing, scissors, a yarn needle and stitch marker, and optional supplies include two 10 millimeter safety eyes and black crochet thread. I'm gonna start with my white yarn and I'm gonna begin with a magic circle. So to do a magic circle, I'm gonna take my tail end and wrap it around my index finger and my middle finger. So wrap it around, bring it to the back of my hand. Now I have two strands on my fingers. So I'm gonna insert my hook under the first one pull the second one under, flip it up. So there we have our circle and we're gonna secure it with a chain one. And for our first uh, round, we are going to work seven single crochets inside the circle. But at the end of this round, we're gonna change the colors. So I'm gonna work six full single crochets. So one, oops, two, three, four, five, and six. So on my seventh single crochet, I'm gonna start it as normal. But before doing that final pull through, I'm gonna drop my white and grab my uh, orange or pink, whatever color you chose to do. I'm using a more of an orangey color, um, so I'm just gonna call it orange. Um, so I'm going to wrap this around my hook and do the final pull through with this new color. So that ended round one, and I'm just gonna pull my tail ends tight. And so to start off round two, I'm going to work one single crochet into the first single crochet of round one. So one single crochet. I'm just gonna, again, pull my ends tight, to close that up. So I'm not gonna use my stitch marker for this round because it's obvious which one was the first stitch. So I'm going to work another single crochet into that very first stitch. So that's two single crochets into the first stitch. And I'm gonna repeat that around for round two. I'm gonna work two single crochets into each stitch around. And that's gonna be a total of 14 single crochets for round two. So just work two single crochets into each stitch around. Two. And the last stitch is gonna be the last in the last white one. Okay, so at the end of round two, we'll have a total stitch count of 14. And we're done with our white, so I'm just gonna grab my scissors and cut this off. Okay, we're gonna be using white again, so don't put that too far away. Okay, so now we are on to round three, and for round three, we are going to work one single crochet into the first stitch. And now I'm gonna use my stitch marker so I don't lose my place. Okay, and then in the second stitch, we are going to work two single crochets. One, two, one single crochet into the next stitch two single crochets into the next stitch. And we're gonna repeat that around for round three, one single crochet into the next stitch, and then two single crochets into the next. One single crochet into the next, and two single crochets in the next. And I'm just gonna repeat that around for round three. And in the last stitch, we are going to work two single crochets. So at the end of round three, our stitch count will now be at 21. And on to round four, we're gonna work one single crochet in the first two stitches. So one single crochet into the first stitch, one single crochet into the next stitch, and then two single crochets into the third stitch. We're gonna repeat that around. One single crochet into the next two stitches, and then two single crochets 
into the next. One single crochet in the next two stitches and then two single crochets into the next. And we're just going to repeat that around for round four. And I'm just coming up to the end of round four. So in the very last stitch, we're going to work two single crochets. And at the end of round four, we will have a total stitch count of 28. So on to round five, we are going to work one single crochet in the first three stitches. So that was one, two, three, and then two single crochets into the next stitch. So one single crochet in the next three stitches, two single crochets into the next. One single crochet in the next three stitches, and two single crochets in the next. And we're gonna repeat that around for round five. I'm just coming up to the end of round five and in the last stitch, I'm gonna work two single crochets. So at the end of round five, I'm gonna have 35 stitches all the way around. Now on to round six. For round six, I'm gonna work one single crochet into the first four stitches. That's one, two, three, and four, and then the fifth stitch, I'm gonna work two single crochets. So one single crochet in the next four stitches. Two, three, four, and then two single crochets into the next stitch. One single crochet to the next four stitches. Then two single crochets in the next. I'm just gonna repeat that around for round six. I'm just coming up to the end of round six, and in the last stitch, I'm going to work two single crochets. And at the end of round six, we should have a total stitch count of 42. And on to round seven, I'm going to work one single crochet in the first five stitches. So that was one, two, three, four, and five. And in the next stitch, I'm going to work two single crochets. I'm gonna repeat that. One single crochet in the next five stitches. Five. And in the next stitch, work two single crochets. I'm going to repeat that around for round seven, one single crochet in the next five stitches, and then two single crochets in the next. I'm just coming up to the end of round seven. In the last stitch, I'm going to work two single crochets. And at the end of round seven, our stitch count will now be at 49. Now on to round eight. I'm going to work one single crochet in the next six stitches. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six. And in that seventh stitch, I'm going to work two single crochets. And I'm going to repeat that one single crochet in the next six stitches. Two, three, four, five, six, and then two single crochets in the next. I'm just gonna repeat that around for round eight. One single crochet in the next six stitches. Four, five, six, and then two single crochets in the next. I'm just coming up to the end of round eight, and in the last stitch, I'm going to work two single crochets. And at the end of round eight, our stitch count will now be at 56. 
and on to round nine. So for round nine, I'm going to work one single crochet in the first seven stitches. So that was one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. And then I'm going to work two single crochets in the next. We're just gonna repeat that around for round nine. One single crochet in the next seven stitches and then two single crochets in the next. I'm just coming up to the end of round nine and in the last stitch I'm gonna work two single crochets and at the end of round nine our stitch count will now be at 63 and we're gonna work our last row or sorry the, our last round which is round 10 so we're gonna increase one more time and then that's gonna be the um, end of the front. So for round 10, we're going to work one single crochet in the next eight stitches. So that was one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then two single crochets in the next. I'm gonna repeat that one single crochet in the next eight stitches three four five six seven eight two single crochets in the next and we're going to repeat that around for round eight sorry for round ten I'm just coming up to the end of round 10 and then the last stitch I'm going to work two single crochets. So at the end of round 10 we will have 70 stitches around and so that's the end of the front so to close off I'm just going to slip stitch in the next stitch, chain one and tie off. And now I'm going to grab my white yarn again. Okay, so with my white yarn, I have about 24 inches here that I cut off and I'm just gonna, I threaded my needle. Um, and now we're just gonna create the segments of a uh, grapefruit. So uh, when we increased, we created uh, these little peaks, these little corners almost, and there's gonna be seven of them. So on each seven, um, we are going to create the segments with this white. So to do so, you can either do just one strand on each one, but if you're making this for a kid's toy or a baby toy, it will be easy to pull on these. So uh, you can do that, or what I'm going to do is I'm going to thread through each row. So I'm gonna start at the bottom here, pull my yarn through, leaving a couple inches on the end so that I can tie off. Um, like secure it with a knot. And what I'm gonna do is weave through each row, trying my best to work in a straight line to reach that end point. So just weave in, in and out of each row until I reach the end. Okay, pull that. And as you see, it's gonna make a um, straight line it's going to be split up by the row so you can work back in the opposite if you want I actually don't mind the look of this right here so I'm going to leave mine um, or you can work just the one straight line and I want my yarn to be on the back so I'm going to go through that stitch at the top so that my yarn ends on the back so that's one so we're going to work seven so I'm going to turn it around carry my yarn over to the next one. So this is gonna be hiding in the back, so it's not a problem that that's there. Flip it back over and work down. So again, weaving in and out of each row, trying my best to make it a straight line. And we wanna end on the back just so it's easier to 
carry over to the next one. Okay, and I'm just going to repeat that around for a total of seven times. Okay, so I just finished off my seventh segment. So my yarn should be at the back now, and you can either just uh, secure it with a knot right here, but what I'm going to do, I'm just going to carry it down and tie it off to the um, end tail from the beginning. And just make sure you're not too tight so that it pulls on the yarn too much. And I have quite a long tail left, so I'm just going to cut that off. Okay, if we flip it back over, we can now add the face. Now the face is completely optional if you want to add it or not. Um, so if you don't want to add it, you can carry on to the back. But if you do want to add it, you want to grab your safety eyes, the backings, and then your black crochet thread. You're also going to need your yarn needle for the thread. So I'm going to start with my eyes, and I'm going to add my eyes between rows one, two, three, four, five, and six. And I'm going to put mine right where the line segments are. Now you can put yours wherever you'd like. I'm not going to put my backings on yet though. I'm going to thread the crochet thread for the smile first. Just so if I decide I want to move the eyes after, it's easy to do so. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go from the back and go one stitch over from the eye down one stitch and in the center and then back up the other side and back down through the center just to create a little V shape. So at this point I'm going to make sure everything's pretty straight and I like how that looks so I'm going to flip it over and I'm going to add the backings to my eyes. And then secure the crochet thread with a couple knots making sure not to tie too tight so that it pulls, you don't want to pull the thread um, too tight so that it's hidden between the stitches. So just a couple secure knots. Okay, I'm just going to cut the excess thread. And there we go, so there's the front of our grapefruit. And now I'm going to grab the yellow yarn and we're going to get going on the back. So with our yellow yarn, we are going to start on the back of the grapefruit, which is going to be worked the same way as the front for the first 10 rounds, other than the color change. We won't be changing colors at all. So we're going to start with a magic circle again. And we're going to secure that with a chain one. And then we are going to work seven single crochets inside the circle. It's one two, three, four, five, six, and seven. I'm just going to take this tail end, pull it tight to close up that hole. So at the end of round one, we will have seven single crochets around. And for round two, we are going to work two single crochets into the first single crochet of the previous round. So work two single crochets and I'm just going to mark that first one with my stitch marker. So that was one and two. So we're just going to work two single crochets into each stitch around. Two. And at the end of round two, we should have 14 single crochets all the way around. For round three, we're going to work one single crochet into that first stitch and two single crochets in the next stitch. One single crochet in the next stitch 
and two single crochets in the next. And we're going to repeat that all the way around for round three. I'm just coming up to the end of round three. Just going to work two single crochets in the last stitch. And at the end of round three, our stitch count will be 21. And for round four, we're gonna work one single crochet in the first two stitches. So that was one and two. And then we're gonna work two single crochets in the next. So that's one single crochet in the next two stitches and then two single crochets in the next. And we're gonna repeat that around for round four. I'm just coming up to the end of round four. So we work two single crochets in the last stitch. And at the end of round four, our stitch count will be at 28. So on to round five. For round five, we're gonna work one single crochet into the first three stitches. So that was one, two, and three. And then we're gonna work two single crochets in the next. So one single crochet into the next three stitches and two single crochets in the next. We're gonna repeat that around for round five. And I'm just coming up to the end of round five. So I'm gonna work two single crochets in the last stitch. And at the end of round five, our total stitch count will be 35. For round six, we're gonna work one single crochet in the next four stitches. That was one, two, three, four. We'll work two single crochets in the next. And then one single crochet in the next four stitches. And two single crochets in the next. We're gonna repeat that around for round six. Just coming up to the end of round six. And I'm gonna work two single crochets in the last stitch. So at the end of round six, our total stitch count will be 42. And for round seven, we're gonna work one single crochet into the first five stitches. That's one, two, three, four, five. Two single crochets in the next. And then one single crochet in the next five stitches. One, two, three, four, five. And two single crochets in the next. I'm gonna repeat that around for round seven. I'm just coming up to the end of round seven. I'm gonna work two single crochets in that last stitch. So at the end of round seven, our total stitch count will be at 49. For round eight, I'm going to work one single crochet into the first six stitches. So that was one two, three, four, five, six, and then two single crochets into the next stitch. Then one single crochet, next six stitches, three, four, five, six, and two single crochets into the next stitch. And I'm gonna repeat that around for round eight. Just coming to the end of round eight. And in that last stitch, I'm gonna work two single crochets. So at the end of round eight, our stitch count will now be at 56. So now on to round nine. For round nine, we're gonna work one single crochet into the next seven stitches. So that's one two, three, four, five, six, 
seven, and then two single crochets in the next. So one single crochet in the next seven stitches, two, three, four, five, six, and seven, and then two single crochets in the next. And I'm gonna repeat that around for round nine. Just coming up to the end of round nine. And in the last stitch, I'm gonna work two single crochets. And at the end of round nine, our total stitch count should be at 63. And now we're on to round 10, which will be our last increase round. So for round 10, we're gonna work one single crochet in the first eight stitches. That's one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then two single crochets in the next stitch, one single crochet in the next eight stitches, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and two single crochets in the next stitch, and we're gonna repeat that around. One single crochet in the next eight stitches, and two single crochets in the next. Just coming up to the end of round 10, and in the last stitch, I'm going to work two single crochets. So now for round 11, all the way to the end of round 13, we're just gonna work one single crochet into each stitch around. So our stitch count is going to stay at 70, and we're just gonna work one single crochet into each stitch around. We're gonna do that for a total of three rounds. So we're on to round 11. So we're just gonna work one single crochet into each stitch around and we're gonna do that all the way to the end of round 13. So I'm going to catch up with you guys at the end of round 13. Our stitch count will still be at 70. So I just finished round 13, so at the end of round 13, our stitch count will still be at 70. And now we are going to attach the back to the front. So I'm gonna grab the front of my uh, grapefruit. I'm gonna remove my stitch marker. And all we're gonna do is we're going to single crochet the back to the front. So I'm gonna flip this so the uh, front, the face is gonna be facing outside. And I'm just going to single crochet both sides together. So working in the next stitch of the back and in the first stitch of the front. So we're gonna be working in four loops, two from the back, two from the front, and we're just gonna loosely single crochet them together. If you do it too tight, then it's gonna kinda of cinch it up. So just do it fairly loose. One single crochet around, so we're still gonna have 70 single crochets when we reach the end and just making sure that we're working in both the back and the front. And we're just gonna do that all the way around, but I'm going to uh, stuff it with the fiber fill as I go. So before you close up the hole too much, make sure you stuff it with the fiber fill. So I'm gonna continue this around. And when I get about three quarters of the way done, I'm gonna stop and fill it with the fiber fill. So I'm gonna catch up with you guys at that point. Okay, I don't have much more of an opening left, so I'm just gonna stop here and start filling my grapefruit with some uh, stuffing. So I'm gonna grab a couple handfuls and you can stuff as much or as little as you'd like. It all depends on how squishy or stiff you'd like it to be. So just fill it to your liking. Uh, probably gonna do maybe one little handful more. And that's good for me, so I'm just gonna continue on 
single crocheting the front and the back together. I'm just going to continue that until I make it all the way back to the beginning. And I'm just on the last few stitches. Oops. And then to end it, I'm just going to slip stitch in the first single crochet from the beginning. So make a slip stitch, chain one, tie off, and you don't really need to leave too long of a tail. Pull that tight, and then I'm just going to grab my yarn needle and weave that end in. I'm just going to weave it into the back a little bit and then hide it inside the grapefruit. So just weave it in a little bit, then hide the end inside. So I'll just cut that. And there we go, there's our grapefruit. Thank you so much for following along and I really hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you're not already subscribed to my channel, I'd love to have you a part of the Turtle Trunk family. You can also follow me on Facebook and Instagram and be sure to tag me in your photos so I can see your finished grapefruits. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time.